Hello, and welcome to the first installment of Behind the Cut, where we, the filmmakers at NUTV, take you behind the scenes of our latest videos. Here, we will talk about how the videos came about, fun stories from the shoot, and much more. Joining us today is our very own Matthew Singer, although not for long, because he's graduating, here to talk about his last NUTV video, Tuning Out, a rather emotional confrontation between a couple. Matt! So I was talking with a friend of mine, and they were describing an experience in which they were upset and someone was trying to comfort them, and they didn't want to be comforted in the moment. I'd been in similar conversations, and if more than one person has been through something, it means probably a lot of people have been through something, and the more relatable something is, the better it is work of art. So I was like, hey, here's a video idea. I think that different pieces of art should or shouldn't be relatable. So art in which you can relate to it is a good way to explore something you're already familiar with, but something you can't relate to might open you up to something new. So it depends on the piece and what it's doing. My favorite shot from the video is when Tim walks in the door, because a lot happens in that shot that's important. We see Kim, how upset she is, and they're by herself. You know, again, it's an intrusion when he walks through the door because at first it's just her and then it rack focuses and suddenly he's in the shot. What also happens there that's really important is the closing of the door because that just makes the moment that much more private and intense. So the video starts with a depressed person not wanting to deal with the world and just watching TV. So it was very much just her and none of the world around her because she was blocking it out very purposely at the time. And then when you hear, you okay, are you okay? It cuts to Tim and her also being in the shot because the whole point was that it was an intrusion. And it puts you into her perspective, at least temporarily, with where she was at the time. I think most people fit into one or the other in that there are people who have a very good understanding of what they're feeling and it's easy for them to work through their emotions. But there are a lot of people who that's not so black and white for and it's hard for them to understand what they're going through. And you know, people with mental health issues, especially, sometimes are just in a mood where there's no cause for it. I mean, that's why it's mental health. And of course there are people who have a little bit of both, but we're raised on media and people only like talk about people as if they're Tim's character. Everyone is expected to understand themselves, but it's much more common, I think, that they don't. The hardest part of the shoot was the last scene where they're in the bedroom together, because every single take we did was just like daggers through our heart. It was just really upsetting and intense and dramatic. We just had to keep doing it again and again and again, and it wasn't very fun. Yes, so in the original script, after Tim leaves, Kim gets up and pours herself a glass of wine and goes back to the TV. And while this is happening, he's texting her a bunch of apology texts, and she's just ignoring them. In my head, the dynamic between the two was much less intense. And then Kim and Tim brought it to just entirely new heights. And after a conversation like that, immediately sending apology texts wouldn't make any sense. And we were also just so exhausted that we were like, okay, is Kim's character really going to get out of bed right now? Like, after that video, we all just wanted to lie down in bed. So we were like, okay, what if she just stays in bed? But I still wanted that ending where she watches the TV. So we were like, oh, okay, she has a TV in her bedroom now. And the remote was there the whole time. Yeah, it was the first time I've ever shot a video where the ending has changed that much because of what played out while we were filming it. Yes, I, I do like cyclic stories a lot. I just think they're pretty. Because like it's great when people grow, and like obviously people should grow all the time in real life. But I just like sad, depressing things. Um, so it's sad, and depressing when people don't learn and become better. Directing and leading the video is ninety nine percent about communication because you have this idea in your head, but no one else has it in theirs. So it is your job to communicate that idea to people. Like that's really what being a director is, in my opinion. The thing I've learned is that the best videos don't come from one person. 
they come from a collaboration with a variety of talented people because video is too big and too complex for it to be a one-man show. Uh, <laughs> am I dying? Uh, <laughs> last words, uh, I really loved making that video with Connor, Kim, Tim, and Ava, and I'm really happy that it was my last interview video because I'm really proud of it.